The original poem, written by Tim Burton, had only three characters, Jack Skellington, Zero, and Santa Claus. Other characters were created specifically for the film. Due to growing up in sunny California, holiday decorations were an important factor to the seasonal progression when it came to fall and winter. Halloween and Christmas were melding together in stores capitalizing on shopping for both seasons. Burton has claimed this merger planted the seed for his tale about the King of Halloween intruding on Christmas. Tim Burton originally imagined The Nightmare Before Christmas as a television special. Burton pitched the project as an animated effort to TV studios similar to Rankin Bass's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Santa Claus is Coming to Town. When that failed, he then tried book publishers. It was not until it was pitched as a full-length feature film that it was finally greenlit. On the DVD commentary, Burton estimated that roughly 20 years passed between his initial efforts to produce the project and its theatrical debut in October 1993. Stop motion demands a great deal of time, so when Danny Elfman had mastered most of the film's songs, Selleck plus a team of 13 specially trained animators and an army of prop makers, set builders, and camera operators got to work without a final screenplay. Animators began by crafting Jack's big moment of discovery with What's This? Shooting 24 frames per second meant the animators had to create unique motions for 110,000 frames total. One minute of the movie took about a week to shoot, and The Nightmare Before Christmas took three years to complete. This film, along with the live-action traditionally animated hybrid film Who Framed Roger Rabbit, are the only films under the Touchstone Pictures label that are considered as official Disney films. Sir Patrick Stewart was brought onto the movie early in its development when Burton's original poem was supposed to play a bigger part in the narrative. However, Burton eventually cut Stewart's narration. His voice can still be found on the film's official soundtrack, in the extended ending to the film heard on the soundtrack album, Santa Claus returns to Halloween Town many years later to visit Jack and finds that Jack has about four or five skeleton children. Lastly, due to the dark and deeply weird nature of the movie, Walt Disney Studios decided it was too off-brand to be released under the Disney Animated Features banner. The movie is filled with creatures that Disney deemed too scary for kids, characters that take off their own heads and limbs, skeletons, nasty toys, and a creepy villain named Oogie Boogie. For these reasons, the film was made through their subdivision Touchstone Pictures. As always, if you discovered something new, share with a friend. Leave a like or a comment of a movie you'd like me to dig deeper into. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.